very much, Anne. I know what everyone's thinking. We're running ahead of schedule. We have cupcakes and we gave away the podium. But I'll, I'll, I'll try to be, I will try to be brief, although uh, the last time I actually said that was last Monday. I was giving a speech and I began by saying I'm going to be brief today. And afterwards, my staff pointed out I spoke for 28 minutes. So, <laughs> listen, I will be very quick. i got to tell you something. Uh, I have the best job in the world. I do. Because I actually have two jobs. First of all, I'm a member of Provincial Parliament for Kitchener Centre, where we're uh, sitting, where we're holding the event here today. It means I help to represent Waterloo Region, which means I help to represent a phenomenal community that is caring, that is innovative, that is cutting edge, that uh, has so much to offer and is very, very unique in so many positive ways. The second thing is that I have the privilege to be the Minister of Training Colleges and Universities. And uh, what that means is a number of different responsibilities, but part of it is responsibility for literacy programming in the province of Ontario. And together with the federal government, you heard uh, reference to it, uh, we collaborate a lot. We fund most of the uh, literacy programs across the province of Ontario. So as a minister, I get to travel across the province and see the phenomenal things that are happening by our literacy providers. I get to see the outstanding projects and programs that are taking place. And I've got to tell you, uh, we have a fabulous network across Ontario. It's a network that is supported by so many outstanding community groups and organizations, by so many volunteers, literally thousands of volunteers, and together they are transforming people's lives. And I've had a chance to meet some amazing people and hear their stories. We heard one today in uh, the testimonial that was read. People who are having a, a, an immediate benefit in terms of upgrading their literacy skills, in terms of how they're interacting with their family, with the workplace, with uh, just the world around them, the world which is getting a little bit more complicated, it seems, every day. And of course, the other thing is, it's providing a foundation for them to move on to uh, higher education. Again, we heard such a great testimonial today. So the great thing about sort of describing those two aspects of my life is together, they're, uh, they're coming together today when we talk about this program, because this is about Waterloo Region and its innovative best coming together with an outstanding literacy network to uh, address the literacy needs in our community. And of course, not only to realize that we've got to address low levels of literacy amongst adults, but also recognizing the trick is, if we can prevent that from happening, then we can actually uh, move forward much quicker. And what that means is looking at children, looking at young people, how can we make sure that they have the support they need as they move forward. So I'm here today as a local MPP, because I have this great gig in charge of literacy as a minister, to congratulate everyone who's been involved in the program, obviously to Anne and your entire team and the whole literacy network, to all the community organizations that have been part of this, all the volunteers that have been part of this, but most importantly, although that whole list is very important, very important, the outcome number two, because the people we want to congratulate the most are the learners themselves. It takes a lot of courage, it takes a lot of guts, determination, and hard work for both the parents and the children to come together. But the progress has been made. I know that testimonial we heard is only one of many. All of them deserve our utmost support and credit and best of luck, because I know they're going to be great. So thank you for including me, and congratulations to everyone.